Hey, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to test a new Shiny AI website builder tool, which not only develops your website design based on your prompt, but also can give you a functionality of the website that you might need and allows you to host the website and all of that for free. Before we dive into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I do a lot of videos like this. Let's start. So the name of the tool, as you guessed, is Framer AI. They just released their AI generator for the website like literally 12 hours ago. And right now we are going to test it and see what it can do. I already tested several websites builders and all of them were not as great as you would expect. Majority of AI website builders are based on the template. So they have templated sections that they just match to your content. So the difference with Framer, as I saw, is that Framer also generates the content for your website. So it's aware of what is the business and niche so it tries to match the content and overall feel of the website to what you are trying to develop. Let's see if it's true. Let's see what we can do. So first thing first, the pricing. So we can start our website for free. I don't see any limits for the website. So you can have as many projects, I assume, as you want. You have design editor and you have a framer banner. So I assume if you are posting your website on their free domain, which they provide for you, they will have a little ad for themselves in there. But other prices are good as well. So here for just a five $5 per month uh, if we pay annually or $10 per month if you pay monthly, you can have a landing page with a uh, custom 404 as in sense of home and 404 page with custom domain so you can link your domain. And uh, this is something I don't really love, which is the uh, website visitors. So you can not have more than 1000 visitors per month, which kind of sucks. I assume the free website has the same limitation, but for the price and for the AI tool, it makes a lot of sense. And as I can see, all of their plan are uh, limited by the visitors. So at least because of that, I probably wouldn't recommend using the website builder tool for like big corporate websites and for the websites with a lot of traffic because 100,000 visitors, this is like less than $10,000 ad spend. So if you're running any like tangible business, then probably you will run out of uh, that limitation pretty quickly. I assume probably you can uh, upgrade this limit further by paying more, but again, I, I don't see that price in here. So below is robust comparison between all of them. As I see, the website receives a sales certification, the basic, so the free and mini, they don't receive CDN, but everything else does. So now let's sign up. I will continue with Google in here. I will choose my profile, agree to the terms and finish. So once you're in, this is the screen that you're going to see. So if you're familiar with Figma, it's very, very similar. As a matter of fact, you can copy a website from Figma in here. I think it deserves another video. So let me know if you're interested. And in here, we have a shiny button to start with AI. In here, we have our standard prompting. So basically uh, here you will describe what kind of websites you want. As And as I can see the examples they show, they don't really like specify the a lot of UX, UI, etc. They just describe what the business is about. So whenever you need to create a good prompt, usually I jump into the chat GPT. So in here, I pre-created a prompt for chat GPT that will create me a better prompt for Framer, which sounds kind of like inception of machines, but whatever. So in here, what I have is that I tell that imagine that you're an industry leading web designer. I would need you to create a prompt for an AI tool that can design any website page based on your precise description. And next I describe the, the sections and overall feel that I would like to have for the website. So I would like, um, I limit it to a thousand characters and I would like the website to be a cozy, friendly, warm socks brand in this case uh, that will include the following sections. Um, we'll try several probably, but let's start with this. Let's see what ChatGPT will be able to create for us. And then we will just copy that and paste it in the framer. So here is our descriptive prompt that ChatGPT created. Let's navigate back to the framer and paste it in here. Once it's done, just click start and let's start generating. Okay, so here's the first draft of our website. It was pretty fast. It took about a minute, I would say. Uh, to generate the website. And here you can see overall the layout that this AI recommends for the website like this. You need to understand that majority of these uh, sections and majority of the blocks for the website, they are pre-built, they are pretty standard. And what I've seen with the Framer AI is that you can regenerate the websites and it will create completely different feel for them. So within here, as you can see, we have the first section for a hero. So here we have our text, which I did not write. So everything in here written by a uh, framer. So cozy socks for chilly days. Perfect, awesome title. Uh, we have shop now, our story. So right now these are design elements, but you can really quickly transform them into the actionable buttons within here. Uh, we will jump into that later. 
Next we have uh, our sections and in here it preloaded a photo of socks which is really cool but in here it did not. We can also look for images on other platforms like Unsplash and then just add them here. Next we have our section with testimonials and the last is uh, I don't know just overall section. As you can see based on my prompt from ChatGPT I had here a section which we have feature product we don't have so probably this website cannot do e-commerce. Uh, testimonials we do have, video with, about the socks we don't have, socks features we kind of have, newsletter form we do have, and the uh, footer with useful links, I don't think we have that. We don't have footer in here. It probably did kind of a good job, We're not perfect, but it's pretty good. I would say that the colors it used are pretty cozy and warm, so it's a big plus in here. The other thing is that you need to understand is that this tool helps you to start website with AI. So this is why the button says literally start with AI. Uh, it won't build you a full website. You need to start the website in here, finalize it with your content and then publish. And now the thing is that just by clicking this play button, now I'm basically within a live website. To publish the website, you just click publish in here. And in here, they give you a framer.ai domain so I can ha have my uh, cozy socks uh, framer.ai and I can publish that. And now I can send this URL to someone and they will visit my website with cozy socks. Isn't that cool? That took me like literally less than five minutes to create a full website within my style, within the prompt, etc., which already live. So this, this URL already exists. Someone can literally go in here and visit my website. I'm not sure if there is anything easier than that. Now, let me show you what I mean about the regenerate website. So as with ChatGPT, when you use regenerate feature, it can create completely different website. It won't like slightly change it. It will be completely different website. So let's try it again. Let's start with the same prompt and let's see what it will create on the second take. So here's the next variation. And I think I'm in love with this one. This is really, really, really cool. As you can see, the typography is much better. Everything works together. I love the decision for this font. So I wouldn't change the fonts. The overall color scheme is the same. The uh, website is like fluent. So each section works out with other sections and overall it looks really good. If you are not a fan of that one, what you do is just click regenerate over and over again and sooner or later you will get a really good variation that can go live. Now let's edit the website. Let's try to change the feel. Let's try to adjust the stuff that we would want to adjust. So first of all what you can do with the AI portion of the website is that next to each section when you click the section here you have this button in here. When you will click it it will change the section design using AI. So here like the black version I like much more I think. Here is one more. Here is one more, etc. And as you can see, it's just several variations. Each time you click, it just uh, swaps the color a little bit. And as you can see, it, it can create different feel for you. I think I would stick with the black one in here. Let's try to do the same on the second section. Let's see what it will come up with. So here is what we have right now. If you are not a fan of the color scheme overall, you can uh, click in here. And on top in here, uh, you have a shuffle for your seam, uh, for your colors. You can shuffle that and it will basically change the color scheme for the whole website. And you can just keep shuffling it until you're happy with what you see. I think this one is good. So we have the block black top and then uh, everything here is lightish pink. And then uh, maybe for the footer, I would make the footer black in here, uh, something like that. Uh, and maybe this section as well. Yeah, some, something like that. And now it it's a great looking website right here. You can really easily change the figurines. So. Just click on them, just scroll a little bit down and where we have in here, um, I can change everything in here. Perfect. Now for the text changes and overall, you just double click and you adjust uh, anything you want. So featured uh, socks. If you want to adjust the content, same here. So for example, I will remove this figure and I will go on top here, insert. Now media. And in here, you can choose whatever you need. So for example, image will go right here. And as you can see, it adjusts everything to the grid. So you don't just put the image and it just flows somewhere. You can adjust it you, so I can make the bigger images, but then it shrinks the text down. Now you can add the imagery here super easily. So in here, go to the right side panel, uh, go to styles, fill, and then image. 
and we have Unsplash built in. So they are using the Unsplash app in here. I just click that and I look for the socks. I find whatever works for me. So something cozy, something like that, for example. And just like that, you can add your content in here. Now below, I saw a section where we have our video, where we should have our video. So let's add the video in here. I will add a link to YouTube video. Now to replace the video, you simply navigate to the right side bar where you have the YouTube video in here. You select that part and you you place your your video and just like that we have a thumbnail now the really cool part is that if you are missing any section in here you don't have to be stuck with whatever AI created. You can navigate to insert sections and in here you have pre-built uh, layouts that you can just drag and drop and have on your website. So for example, let's say uh, you are not a fan of this review style, I can just go in I can drop this new testimonial section. I can adjust the colors within this section. I can change the background. So we have the fill in here. I can just drag and drop in here. And just like that, I can really quickly customize the section to look like real testimonials, right? So if you want to really create a business, you just replace this with your actual testimonials and you're good to go. Now, the same way you can add the following elements in here. So we have all of the media, so any videos, etc. We have forms, so you would link it with your um, form style like HubSpot, etc. You can also have all of these interactive elements in here. You have patterns. So for example, cookie notifications, uh, any like pop-ups as I can see, any additional icons, etc. So all of the stuff that you might need, uh, socials and utility. Now let's transform it to actual website. So what will make it a website is that everything needs to be clickable and it needs to be kind of animated because otherwise it looks like a big picture. So let's start with the animation. Animation within the framer is super easy. Choose the element that you need, go to the effects on the right. And in here, uh, you can do, for example, appear and then uh, scale in, slide in from the left. Let's try that. And for this imagery, I will do the same, but I will do slide in from the right probably. Uh, appear, scale in, let's do slide in from the right. And now uh, to preview it, you go on top and you click the play button. And as you can see, it played, but it's very fast. I would want to make it a little bit slower. Okay, I decreased the delay and I increased the damping for here. So let's play it again. And now is the feel that I would love to have, right? So as you can see, it enters smoothly and it has this feel. Uh, let me really quickly do the same for other elements and let's see what we have. Okay, so I spent about three minutes animating everything. And right now when you play the website, here is what you're going to see when you enter. And uh, it's already kind of a website, right? It has this website feel well, when you open it. You can do it much better than me. So I, again, spent a very little time on that. Now, next thing that you want to have is you want the website to be clickable, right? The first thing you need to establish the anchor points, right? So uh, we have the shop testimonials and about us. Uh, let's do um, not shop, but featured. Next, uh, we have the testimonials is okay. And about, uh, it's okay, we'll link the video. So. First thing first, you click on the section that you need to link to. You scroll down to a scroll section and here you name everything. So this will be about, this will be testimonials and this will be featured. So next you click on the text in here, you go to your right side link. And in here, as you can see, it allows us to link pages, but I can also just type a hashtag and then um, featured. So once it's done, you can play the website right here Here's what you're going to see. And then as you can see, the link is clickable and I can navigate to the section that is mentioned in here. And just like that, once your changes are published, you can click publish, update, and it will update your website, which is now live. You can send it to your friends and start selling a high quality socks. The only price that you pay for having this website done using AI within a matter of minutes is this small banner made with Framer in, in here. So if you're fine with that, here you go. Here is a free website building tool that you might wanna like. All of the AI website builders that I tried below, they sound good, but don't work. So this one is the first one that you can actually have a live website 
and you can add everything you need. You can link everything. You can add the tracking codes. You can try. You can add all of the elements that you need. You can adjust whatever AI created. You can play with AI more and more. You can add the sections, add the pages, etc. And everything is for free. So Framer is a great deal right now. I would jump into that. Probably they will limit it pretty soon because it's an awesome deal to have unlimited number of projects published under someone else's domain and you don't have to pay anything for that. It just sounds way too good to be true. If you had any questions during this video, make sure to post them in the comments below. I will try to jump into them as soon as possible and subscribe to my channel as I produce a lot of content like this. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.